Hello and welcome to video number four. In this video, we're going to talk about your title and your description. So let's take what you have gathered in the previous video and let me show you how to properly create your titles and descriptions. So when it comes to creating titles and descriptions, we simply need to do what we did in the previous videos, which was the competitive research. And as you can see here, we have the videos one, two, and three, the top number one, number two, and number three. And of course we have the main keywords. So we have this main keyword here. So that's definitely going to be in the title. And then of course, if you noticed, the target audience was beginners. So essentially what you're noticing here is that people are calling out the audience and then of course they have the keyword in the title itself. And then of course you wanna make sure that title, main keyword and target audience is also gonna be in your description. Now what I like to do is I like to go look at magazines in that niche. It doesn't necessarily have to be exactly, in this case, Instant Pot, but it needs to be somewhat of that genre. Now, one thing that I noticed was when we took a look at the Instant Pot Chicken, you could write out something like top six easiest things. So instead of things, you could say chicken recipes or pot roast recipes to cook in your instant pot. Or you could say something like instant pot chicken dash top six easy recipes, or you could use a number. People like numbers, especially knowing that somebody gets an instant pot for the sake of saving time. You could say top six easy chicken recipes that take less than 30 minutes. Now obviously you have a little bit long, so Let's head on over to Google here. So like I said, I like to use magazines. Magazines do a great job in creating titles. So as you can see here, I typed in Instant Pot Magazine. And to the right, you'll notice that there's Instant Pot All-Time Recipes. So let's just go ahead and open that in a brand new window, like so. So it looks like we have to pay, but let's just go ahead and click the free sample. So we can see Instant Pot's all-time best recipes. So you could do something like all-time best chicken recipes or Instant Pot dash all-time best chicken recipes or all-time best chicken Instant Pot recipes. So obviously here, we're not gonna copy word for word because that's plagiarism, but we're gonna use something different. We're gonna tweak it around. What we're looking here is for headlines. So let's go back here. So it says everyday instant pot, 115 delicious family fresh friendly pressure cooker. So we can say everyday instant pot colon six delicious family pressure cook recipes. So everyday Instant Pot Chicken, as long as the word Instant Pot Chicken is in there. So we've got 66 Instant Pot recipes that put your pressure cooker to work. So we could say something like six Instant Pot Chicken recipes that take less than 15 minutes. And yes, believe it or not, Instant Pot can literally cook something like a pot roast within less than an hour or sometimes half an hour. Because it's a pressure cooker, it cooks a lot faster. So that's what I like to do is I like to take a look at magazines. So it doesn't necessarily have to be Instant Pot in this example. It can be another food magazine. So essentially that's how to create the titles. As far as the description goes, if you take a look at what they've written here, the first one that's ranking really well, as you can see here, we've got Instant Pot 101 for beginners. So you'll notice that they are trying to target the keyword Instant Pot 
101 for beginners. So they've stated that in the title and they've also put it in the description. So it says everything you need to know about how to use the Instant Pot in a beginner Instant Pot recipe. So notice that they use the keyword beginner Instant Pot twice. And then of course they got Instant Pot hacks, Instant Pot yogurt, and what they're essentially doing here is they're linking to other related videos. Now, Google's smart enough and YouTube's smart enough to have an algorithm to read the description and think, okay, they've got other videos that they've created that are related to Instant Pot. This video must be good or this channel must have a lot of relevant information. So we're going to rank it a little bit higher because it's going to give people what they want to see. So now we look down here, it says Instant Pot Chicken. So this is the lady who is ranking really high on Instant Pot, but also Instant Pot Chicken. So it says cook with me as I try a new recipe with my Instant Pot. So we can see the keyword Instant Pot here. And as you can see, the description is really written for the user, but it contains the keywords that are necessary. So you don't need to write something like Instant Pot Chicken or something that's just a bunch of garbled information. You wanna make sure that the title and the description attract people first and foremost, and then embed the keywords within. So the third one, we've got top six easiest things to cook in your Instant Pot, perfect for beginners. So it says, today I'm sharing with you the six easiest things to cook in your Instant Pot. So you can see here, the title is here, but the title is also in the description. It says, now these are perfect if you are just starting out or even had the Instant Pot for a while. So you can see the keywords that are embedded, but it's really written for the user. And that's the way it should be because the title and the description will actually show up in the YouTube search engine, as you can see here. So we've got the title, we've got the description. So we wanna make sure that the first sentence in your description is catchy as well. 